Hello, oh my god, um, another day, another vlog. Today's just one day vlog. I'm going to the gym, I'm going to a few thrift stores. I may go to Joanne's because Halloween stuff. And then I will probably go to some other stores like Trader Joe. I may visit the new Barnes & Noble uh, in Cary. Damn, sorry, my bangs are crazy. Anyways, so I may also go to Mr. Mike's, but I don't want to like waste my time and drive around. I need to finish my blog post. I need to keep editing the mountain vlog. So yeah, and I also want to keep watching the like Marvel Cinematic Universe movies because I'm on my journey. So yeah, I woke up late. That's my gym outfit as usual. But yeah, I woke up late. I just I just couldn't get up and Pringy didn't wake me up. So uh, both of us slept until like eight in the morning and I plan to wake up at least at seven, um, or like 7.30. I mean, it's not bad, but still, you know, kind of frustrating. But yeah, I'll take you with me and we'll enjoy today. Okay, not the best look, baby, but um, I'm done. I am done my red nose, but um, I'm done at the gym. That was good. 40 minutes, 30 on treadmill, and 10 on something else. I don't remember how it's called. A lot of girls on a treadmill hmm, wonder why. Thank you, TikTok treadmill exercise. So now we're going to Goodwill. I'm excited, so come join me. Okay, good one's done. It's very hot. I hope it will not be another vlog from the car. But I got a few things. Um, I really want to start something and it's hard. And not even hard, but it's scary because Obviously, you're taking a risk buying things, and yes, I'm looking into starting a thrift store. But because I have a few interests, I really want to lean towards more like spiritual and I also like clothes. And I see so many pretty things that not my size, and I'm like, damn, they would be amazing for someone else. Like today, I've seen a few pair of shoes, and I'm like, damn it, they're not my size, but they're just so so cute. They're like so cottage core and stuff like that but um yeah it's scary so I'm kind of like looking into that but I found a few witchy things and I'm very excited I found clothes I found shoes I found a bag so yeah now we're going to Dorcas Dorcas has a uh, 50% off of the frames I seen the shoes by Steve Madden and I kind of like them but they were a little bit damaged and so I decided to leave them which I did regret but in a perspective it's okay Okay, I just had to like stop and go home. I'm about to go home because my back started hurting so badly. It's horrible. I thought I would have to call the emergency because it just started hurting so badly. Okay, I'm actually home. So I literally had to run back home because I it was like so bad. I couldn't move. I just got up because I was sitting on like uh, the ground. Uh, and like going through my basket saying what I want to leave I wasn't sure about those Steve Madden shoes and I got up and I just felt like my world started like spinning and it was just so bad the pain is 
it's like I still have it. And it scares me because now it goes into my upper body and kind of my leg. I don't know, it was just so horrible. And I got up and I felt like I will pass out. Like, I either have to call the emergency or I will have to crawl from the store or I, I just need to get out now. So I left a few things and I was like, I don't want to leave my basket, honestly. But anyways, I'll just go and I'll try to have a better day anyways. I have to work on my blog. It will be now two days vlog because I just don't feel like showing you anything from the thrift store. I had to leave a few things. I actually do want to show you a little Trader Joe haul. I was very good. I didn't buy anything that I didn't need. This is something I got, I'm gonna eat now. I like those uh, hummus and vegetable wraps. They're very good. I got figs, finally figs are in the stores. I love figs. I'm going to make sandwich with cream and cheese and figs. I wish I got strawberries, honestly, too. I didn't get them. I got carrots because I will be eating lazy sushi bowls. I got broccoli and I got avocados because again, lazy sushi bowls and avocado, not avocados, broccoli will go also in the bowl. And I got those cheese things. I love them a lot. And I also got lentil chips as a little snack. But yeah, that's that's it. Okay, mini update. Pringy, my tough little boy. I was fired. It was a blessing in disguise. I'm just relieved because I would have quit anyways after summer but i was just unhappy and of course now it's like looking for a new job but i'm just shocked because i was thinking about it like i think they're gonna do that i think they're going to fire me and i don't know why because the only thing i'm guilty of is asking open questions and being direct but yeah i was fired via email <laughs> That tells you something. But it's on them. I wish them all the best things. Whatever. Like, I'm not even angry. I'm not even sad. I'm a little bit frustrated because of the money aspect, obviously. But, you know, jobs, they come and go. I was never far in my entire life. Honestly, as I said, blessing in disguise. And we'll figure it out. It's not the toughest situation I've been, so. And Pringle is eating avocado tree again, so. Pringle. Hello. Who is she? I had my hair cut. I love it. Oh my god, my face is so oily, but that's okay. I love it. I think it looks great. I think I look like myself. Um, this is Bird, by the way. Today's the next day after I got fired. I feel good, honestly. I'm happy. When I woke up, I did feel a bit sad and like the worst human being ever. I felt like I did not deserve to leave. But everything happens for a reason. Like I was not even mad or sad or angry. I'm, I'm not those things today either. I just feel happy. Pringy, no. Pringy, no. No, little boy. I'm just journaling right now. I kind of feel like I lost my creative spark. I wanted to draw or paint, but I don't have any ideas. All I want to draw is just like an eye. And that's pretty much it. But I, I will keep pushing myself because creativity is important to me. So I will just keep pushing myself. I love this one. Because this is how I feel sometimes. Hello guys, continuing vlog. Oof. I am at Bus Pro Shop. I came here because my husband's birthday is coming. So I came to Bus Pro Shop just to get a few items, you know, just something nice. Uh, he's into fishing. I'm used to I'm vegan, I'm not, but you know, I expect his hobbies. I will be choosing intuitively, which will be fun. So, and you coming with me.
Okay, uh, mission complete. I want to go to Trip to Gift to so look for a few tops while I can so that like, I have something to wear. More summer because I'm tired of wearing those t shirts. I don't have like many summer t shirts that would fit my size now because I gain weight. So, yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'm heading home to clean and just take some time for myself. Okay, I'm home. I got two bags, two meditation pillows. I'm just gonna wash my hands and eat. So here's another thing. I'm kind of shocked how fast like my visions and manifestations come to life now. I wanted to get med a meditation pillow and uh, I wanted to order it from Amazon, but I just like was whatever, like it's not urgent. And today at the thrift store, I found not one, but two meditation pillows and well, one of them is you can debate if it's a meditation pillow or not but it just like looks good comfortable to sit we can just see and sit on the ground you know and then i also wanted to get monopoly i didn't buy it but i found like a bunch of games exactly the ones i wanted because if you know there are different monopolies and there are like a bunch of other things that i found and i was like oh my god right prong prong is also shocked and this whole year honestly i kind of learned that be careful what you wish for because this will come true one way or another so be extremely precise about what you want who you want to be what you want to do uh, so that you don't get burned things do come true which is amazing and yeah this week has been really like magical in that sense which is crazy they might be or operating correctly because they so basically as this vlog's conclusion i want to really show you what i thrifted it was supposed to be a blog a vlog about me actually thrifting and showing you what i got but it turned into completely something else yeah my life and my lifestyle changed a little bit and i'm on the new path which is all cool and great but anyways i just want you to show some items that i thrifted last week and this week too because yesterday was my husband's birthday and we went through the like a few thrift stores which was a lot of fun and i found a few things even three things it's a lot of books i'm not going to show everything but i will show you my favorite pieces and honestly i feel like last week i was extremely happy finding amazing amazing pieces of clothes and just interior design so here you go okay so the first thing i want to show you is this little I don't know art piece it's definitely handmade you can hang it when i saw it i was like this is just so me and it fits amazingly i think i want to hang it in our bedroom but i'm not sure yet then i thrifted this little fellow i know it's not christmas yet and honestly i'm not in the christmas mood i'm in the halloween mood but i just loved him so much and because i love books he's in the book it's just so funny it was four dollars and um at goodwill which is a good deal another thing that i got are those candle holders i am starting something new so i don't think they're for me they may be for sale but i don't know i'm thinking about they're so cute they remind me of uh, just summer and midsummer and just so so cute i found them at goodwill for two dollars each and i felt like that was such a great deal they're in very good condition another thing that i sent truth to gift i actually seen it on saturday but i wasn't decisive enough so I got it yesterday because we went back to Trips to Gift. It's like this little jog vase. I'll be using it as a vase, but I feel like it just looks so cool. It's again, very witchy, very cool and cute. I love that. Another thing that I got is Domino's. It's possible that one or two pieces are missing, but it was 99 cents. It's cool. We'll find another piece or like two more pieces. So it's just like so cool. It's from 1980s. And this is exactly how I wanted it because they had modern boxes and I just didn't like it. But this is just the way I know Domino's. And I just want to have our little collection of board games and games for home, not only on the TV or like a computer or whatever. But yeah, so I'm very excited. So another find is kind of sad because... Jane Birkin passed away 
and I got this basket because I was dreaming about Jane Birkin basket. It's nowhere close to what she was wearing, but you still can wear it as a bag. I just need to make like a little pouch, little bag, and you can just basically hold it like that and wear it as a bag. You can fit in your phone, your wallet, your keys, and I was just so excited. that she was a legend, she was an icon. She definitely influenced fashion and culture. She was a free, wild woman, and I truly admire her, admire her style, admire her creative career, and yeah, I found this basket, which I'm very happy. I'm still looking for the similar basket that she had, but I'm very happy with this one because also look at the handle. So beautiful. Look, look at that. Look at it, so pretty. Okay, another thing that I tripped it yesterday is this little thing. It has little seashells that I can use for jewelry making. And then this little, I guess we can say jar, I can just use to store something or make a witch bottle, which is cool too. And then another item that we tripped it yesterday is this amazing vase. I still have to wash it. I literally just brought it today from my husband's truck. But it was three dollars, just three dollars, and it has a bird. I always loved vases like that. It just makes me feel a certain way, like very cool and very queen-like. But um, yeah, I still want the blue one, maybe, and a bigger one. I wish there was a, a jaguar or leopard over there, but I'm so happy with this one for three dollars. Oh my god, yes, I'll take it, please. It's beautiful. It's it has a stamp. I'm really curious from what year that is, so that we will investigate. But it's so beautiful. Cannot wait to style it. And then listen, I told you I was lucky. I found not one, but two meditation pillows. Look at that. Well, technically, I don't think they're meditation pillows. Actually, let me take those glasses off. I don't think they're meditation pillows. Uh, this one, yes, maybe. And it's just like so beautiful. I think it really goes good with the vase. It really fits. And they will be in the same room, so that's like a good find. Well, this is definitely not a meditation pillow, but it's just this beautiful, unique green color. They washed already, they've been drying for many, many hours. So yeah, they're good to go, but what a great find, right? $1.50 each at Trips to Gift and Carry, so definitely recommend. Okay, here are some items that are still working on, like cleaning and stuff. This mirror... It's just beautiful. I'm going to make a Halloween style decoration piece from it that I seen on Joanne's website. I was looking for something like that and I found it right away. It was also 50% off because at Dork or Zade, uh, all the frames and mirrors were 50% off. And then at Goodwill, the same day, I found this amazing, beautiful tray. Uh, it has a mirror in the middle, so I will not be like turning it to you, but it has this velvet finish and it basically looks like that. Here it's mirror. I don't remember how much it was. I think two ninety nine or so. But it's so beautiful. I really wanted something like that for very very long, just to make photos and put like my herbs on it and, and crystals and make maybe like a crystal circle, something like that. So I'm so happy. And now I want to show you some clothes that I found. It's not a lot, and also a bunch of it was just honestly t-shirts. On Saturday I went to Trip to Gift. I was looking for clothes, primarily t-shirts actually. And I feel like Trip to Gift is the cheapest from all the or majority of the thrift stores that sell affordable clothes i found some basic t-shirts but i wanted to show you something else that i found so i found this beautiful i don't know what it is long sleeve shirt it's so cool i don't know what it reminds me of but it reminds me of something maybe like skiing clothes or snowboarding clothes it says it was made in canada which is great it's so beautiful brand is chicos i really like the quality it's a little bit big but you know with jeans it will look so so cool i really love it the next thing is this little jacket i guess i'm sorry i'm not styling for you i just don't feel like doing that but it's it's all clean so finally i can show it to you it looks very gothic very like whimsical goth and i love that style so much and oh my god i was so lucky to see so many very cottage core whimsical goth clothing at trips to gift the issues yes i can wait so none of it really fit me but girls if you're into that just go there and look through every damn short skirt pants and you'll find so many amazing items the next piece is this long long dress it was a little bit small and it didn't have a tag i have a strong suspicion it's shein but i don't know and that was the reason why i left it there on saturday but it just looked so damn 
good on me like i look so freaking hot and i felt like myself in this dress so yesterday i got this dress i was so happy it was still there and it's a right length it will look so cool with chunky boots i'm just so excited okay another piece that i found is this khaki blazer it looks so freaking good on me but yeah that's the jacket i know you cannot see the whole thing but the color fits me so well i think my color palette is definitely has some earthy tones and it just looks so good it's like the sleeves are a little bit long which i like it's a little bit oversized and it's a very nice quality so i really like it very very happy with this purchase okay and two more things i want to show those beautiful shoes i am in process of cleaning them i still have to do a lot a lot of work but it's by nina new york and those shoes remind me of the shoes that uh, princess diana wore in her blue suit she had very similar shoes but in blue if i can find a photo i will include it and then we have those shoes i have a few shoes like that that i thrifted but not in this color and not in this model so i'm so excited i have some long pants that i actually wanted to cut but I wore those shoes and I was like, damn, those pants will go amazingly with the shoes. So I'm so excited. Can't wait to style them. And so now let's go to a disaster that is called books. I thrifted a lot of the books. <sighs> thrifted those. All about love. Just Kids by Patti Smith and The Power of Now. Funny thing, Raleigh Restores, they have cards with free items. They have many, many books. And yesterday in the free card, I seen what? I seen Power of Now. But I got mine. I paid for it two or three dollars. So the next category is this big pile of witchy books that I thrifted at Mr. Mike's. As I said, I'm working on something. So it's possible that those books are not for me. This is just like some history. It's very beautiful inside. It's very interesting as well. I never heard about this book, so very excited to have it and then those books are by silver ravenwolf she's a well-known author and it's like a little collection i guess just someone brought it there because they were like all of them there at the same time so which is amazing and mr Mike's has a good selection nowadays of spiritual magical witchy books so i highly highly recommend you to go and check them out you want to show yourself This is Springy. He decided to help me to film the video. He's not allowed to this room, so only with supervision. All right, Spring? Say hello. Oh, what a beautiful little boy. But yeah, let's go back to books. Okay, you jump it down, okay, silly goose? Another little pile that I got is this one. It's all from Truth to Gift, I believe. This three books I got the same day. And this one, 10,000 Dreams Interpreted, I got it yesterday, but I seen there on Saturday. And I just wasn't sure if I needed that. But again, this book is just so beautiful inside. Let me show you, like the illustrations. You know, it's just amazing. I interpret dreams with my own intuition i actually have a dream journal but i think it's good to have uh, you know a little book well it's not little but a book that would tell you the maybe symbolism and just what certain things mean however i would still highly rely on on the intuition okay the next book is a new earth again by Eckhart Tolle, the same person who wrote The Power of Now. It was 99 cents and I'm excited to read it. Okay, the next book is a true gem. It's great horror stories. Look how big that is. It has a bunch of different stories and I'm just so excited about it, especially since Halloween is closer and closer every day. I think it's a great, great book to read. And the next book is a Backyard Astronomy, which is, again, I love encyclopedias. I love in general books like that. And now I have a book about birds, ocean, plants, and astronomy, which is so good. It's just such a cool book to flip through and learn new things. Really, like if you love learning new things, those books are the best. And remember how I told you that Rather Restore has cards with free items? So all of those books, except that one, came from one Rally Restore, and that book I found in another Rally Restore free card. So yeah, it's truly like a good selection of books, especially like Brainway, Gene Therapy, Self-Esteem, 
a lot of like self-development personal development books business i'm very excited about this one and just some like little artsy books and about plants i was really thrilled to find those books and just to see that they just give them away which is so cool and then another thing i want to show you that i found also for 49 cents is this horse it just fits in so beautifully and perfectly i really like this little section here this is the spoon i'm working on but yeah look at it just 49 cents and another thing i want to show is this incredibly cute shout that was one dollar 29 cents a trip to gift it fits in so perfectly and nicely in here it's almost the same color as the walls look how cute it is really cute and amazing i'm just so so happy with it that was my vlog something that was supposed to be a day turned into a whole week you witnessed my life to change a little bit which is fine and i'm very very excited and very happy i feel like it really was supposed to happen so thank you so much for watching and let me know if you love thrifting if you have any thrift store recommendations in rally specifically and i'll see you in the next video bye